The ninth floor of San Diego's Central Library has a view of downtown and the streets below. It's where I met David Houle, who is currently homeless. A native of Phoenix, he says he's battled with addiction for more than 20 years. I've had my dry spells, I've had my good spells. Uh, and coming here, it just went really bad. Then he saw a flyer at the Central Library telling him about a program aimed at helping people addicted to opioids with a drug called Suboxone. Its primary ingredient is buprenorphine. Houle says he responded and signed up for Suboxone treatment at Father Joe's Villages. After, you know, talking to him with the doctors at Father Joe's and taking it every day, getting to that right dose, it had really helped me a whole lot. And I, I have had slip-ups. You know, I have talked to, you know, Dr. Lerada, and we both know that that's normal, but it's never gone out of control. You know, I take my strips every morning like I would drink a cup of coffee. He says it's as if the drug has mentally blocked the cravings he used to feel. He gets the medication on a small strip that he places under his tongue. Buprenorphine itself is actually an opioid that binds to a person's opiate receptor and can knock more dangerous and potent drugs off of it. Dr. Daniel Lassoff is an emergency physician and toxicologist with UC San Diego Health who has prescribed buprenorphine many times. So it's great. We can see things like pain relief, treatment of withdrawal, treatment of cravings, but we don't see so much of that euphoria that we would see uh, that drives people to start abusing these drugs. Megan Parch is the chief health officer at Father Joe's Villages, which is just two blocks away from the downtown library. She also prescribes buprenorphine in the form of Suboxone. We've seen people stabilize. We've seen people reconnect with family. We've seen them uh, obtain income, housing. We've seen people find and maintain jobs that were unable to prior. Suboxone contains both buprenorphine and naloxone, better known as Narcan. Parts says she has seen the problems of drug use and overdoses grow exponentially in the homeless community, due largely to the widespread use of fentanyl. San Diego State Social Work Professor Leanne Urata says she has spoken to librarians who talked about frequent drug overdoses in the bathrooms and outside their libraries. Urata got a two-year grant from the National Institute on Drug Abuse to see if intervening with buprenorphine could make a difference. Two months ago, they began reaching out to people with drug addiction who use the central library. So many people do want to get help, and sometimes just a little bit of help like just follow, as finding them the next day, it made a world of difference to them. And they tell us that, just knowing somebody cares. The old library mission of public service by promoting literacy and providing information has evolved. The library has also become a place where homeless people go to use the bathrooms, charge their phones, be dry and safe. San Diego Central Librarian Jennifer Jenkins says libraries confront a changing urban environment and changing responsibilities. Libraries have now become dynamic and reflexive and kind of respond to the needs of the community in real time as opposed to holding those traditional uh, you know, values and missions and not expanding and growing with our communities. The San Diego State Project seeks to recruit at least 40 addicted people to get Suboxone prescriptions and take it regularly. Urata says she hopes this will be a model for the rest of the library system and perhaps libraries in other states. But Lassoff says we need to remember that detoxification by using medicines like Suboxone is rarely enough to make the problem go away. Substance use disorders are chronic diseases. It's the same way with asthma diabetes, hypertension. These are health problems that wax and wane and people have relapses. He says long-term treatment needs to be part of the solution to turn people away from drug abuse. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.